today I'm going to explain a little bit about my merch line experience, the studio booth experience, and what merch I got at the Love Yourself concert this year in Chicago. So I guess I'll just start from the beginning. We got to Chicago Monday. It was October 1st. We did a little sightseeing. We went back that night to the arena around 8 o'clock to get our unofficial official wristbands for GA on day two. When we were leaving the arena around nine o'clock, we noticed that a few tents had been set up where the merch line would be for the next day. And we were kind of worried about it because we knew that we couldn't spend the night outside. We wanted to get there really early the next day. We had planned to get there at 5 a.m. the next morning. We didn't go to sleep until about one o'clock in the morning. When our alarm went off at four o'clock the next morning, we kind of just, yeah, we snoozed it and we got up around 5.30. We had decided that if we wanted to take pictures or like, I don't know, just do anything with us looking presentable that we needed to get ready. We put our um, concert outfit on, we did our hair, we did our makeup, we did it all. And then we got to the arena that morning around 7 a.m. So the way the merch was set up, it was right across from the arena. It was in a parking lot. So you had your merch tent, you had the studio booth tent, everything was compiled into that one parking lot. I would say when we got there, we were between 300 and 400 in line. The line didn't open until 10 a.m. But while we were sitting there, like I painted my nails, um, we listened to BTS songs, we made a lot of new friends. Shout out to Corinne, if you're watching, I love you. <laughs> we love you. Yeah, we made tons of new friends. The time actually went by really fast and at 10 a.m. they started letting people in. When they officially let the line start, you kind of just go to another line. It weaves in, or, in and out. I would say we didn't get up there until about 10.30ish, but once we got up there, we were in this barricade system. What they do is they hand you a piece of paper when you first get up there and it has all the products that they have, how many you want of each item or like what items you want. That way when you get up there, you can just hand them your sheet of paper and they can fill your order. But what we started noticing is things were selling out. And at this time it was probably 1130ish close to noon and we were still waiting in like the barricade area. As we were coming up to get up to the barricade, the t-shirts we wanted, so like the black love yourself t-shirt, the white love yourself t-shirt, they were all being sold out. We were pretty upset about it because we knew that we all wanted one. Those were the first things to sell out, which I'm not really surprised. I was really worried about the Jim and Picket because I wanted a Jim and Picket, a group picket, and a Jim and Premium photo. There was this one guy <laughs> And his job was to just put the sold out stickers on the board. And every time he would come up, he would get booed. He would get yelled at. Oh no. No. No, no, no. Who is it? No! No! I didn't! No! No, 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 no. Who is it? Who is it? No! 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 no. Ah! Guy, I can't. And I'm not gonna lie, I booed him once or twice. I'm just gonna be honest. As we were in the next line to go up to give him our order, he actually came out and he started putting a, a sold out sign on one of the pickets. It ended up being the J-Hope picket. It sold out first. And then he came out and he put a sold out sign on the Jimin Premium photo. I thought I was gonna throw the barricade I got heated. No! Ah, no! What am I gonna do? The Look. screams. <laughs> it's fine. It was fine. It was fine. A lot of things were selling out so fast, and it honestly worried me. As we're like next in line to go up and order our stuff, they come and put a sold out sign on the group picket. I was so upset about it. People were marking it out on their sheets because. We didn't think they had it anymore, but at this point I had no time to mark it out. So I just gave her my sheet. She filled my order. It took maybe 10 minutes. She came back and I had the group pick it in my bag. One piece of advice, don't ever cross anything out on your list because they honestly might have it. Same thing happened for Marcy. She wanted the RM picket and they told her it was sold out. And then she saw other people getting it. She asked a different worker and he, he pulled one for her. I got a, Jimin name tag, like a little keychain. 
and it was on my list. Well, then she came back and said they were sold out, but I saw other people getting them and I asked another person and like they found it. So anyways, she poured her order. I got 10 things and my total was 220, which honestly, I expected it to be a lot more. But then there were some people that were bringing out like the big plastic tubs full of merch because they couldn't physically carry it, which I thought was really funny. The merch line was probably the most stressful thing I've ever been in. Cause you were just constantly anxious and scared that what you wanted was gonna be sold out. My advice would be get there early. Oh my God, Jimin tweeted. No, he didn't, who tweeted? Okay, I'll take it after. It's Jimin's birthday today. Ugh. Okay, anyway. So then I'll explain the studio by LG. So basically once you got out of the merch line, you were automatically in like the studio part. But there was a line that you could get in to go in the studio tent. In the tent, it was like their cutouts you could take pictures with. Um, their TVs, they had the, the commercials, the phones, they had a DJ in there playing music. They had their clothes that they actually wore in the commercial. Not gonna lie, I sniffed Jimin's jacket. It didn't smell like anything, disappointingly. <laughs> I sound crazy, okay. Once you got out of that line, and the line wasn't too long, when we got in line, it took us like maybe 10 minutes to get up there. You automatically got in a raffle line, and there was a big black box, and it had three different colored balls in it. You could either get a blue ball, a pink ball or a yellow ball. The pink ball was what we all wanted and that was the BTS studio where you get to go in and take pictures with them. I really, 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 really wanted a picture with Jimin. That's what we were going for. The blue ball meant that you went to the back of the line and you won nothing. And then the yellow ball was actually a video to BTS. You kind of just were thrown in a room <laughs> and they were like, hey, you can make a video to BTS, say whatever you want. That was very intimidating. Low key glad I didn't get that because I would have been stressed. Corinne actually got it. I'm sure her video was so cute. We tried, <laughs> every time we got a blue ball, we had to go to the back of the line. At this point, the line was getting longer. So it went from like a 10 minute way to a 20 minute way. We waited in line like six times. We just kept getting the blue ball over and over and over and over. Every time I pulled a blue ball, the guy would be like, oh, congrats, you get to go to the back of the line. <laughs> it was so stressful. So at this point, it was like a little bit after two and we knew that we needed to go eat and like fix ourselves before we had to come back to get in line for the concert. We went back to the hotel, got ready, and then we came back to the arena at around like four and we decided to try one more time. We got up there. Blue ball again. So we kind of just like gave up at that point because we knew we had to go in, get in line. Marcy actually had an express pass. So she went ahead and used it because if not, it would have expired. So she got her picture with Nam June and it was so cute. Ugh. It was so cute. I was happy for her. Fast forward to the next day, it was our GA day. So basically, we got to the arena to stand in line to wait for our official wristbands and they started handing those out at 10. So once we got our official wristbands, we decided to go back to the hotel, get ready because we were, we got two hours of sleep when we left the concert and then when we came back. So we decided to dress really lazy that morning. So we went and got ready. We got back to the arena around three o'clock, I wanna say. And we decided that we would wait in the line one more time. I was desperate at this point to get my picture with Jimin and I knew it was now or never. We waited in line and I kid you not guys, I walked up to that raffle and the same guy was there. I was like, this is my second day trying. Please say a little prayer for me. Give me a hint, I need this pink ball. We only had time to stand in line one time. So this was it. Y'all, I pulled out a pink ball. I fell to my knees, Marcy was screaming. It was honestly insane. And I feel like everyone in line thought I was actually insane, but it's okay. Um, and the guy was like, wow guys, it only took her 48 hours. Thanks for exposing me. I was so happy and Marcy was so happy for me. And like, if she got the pink ball, she was gonna give it to me anyway, cause she's a great best friend. She's awesome. She was behind me. Y'all, I kid you not, she pulled out a pink ball too. And she wanted another picture with J-Hope. So I was so happy that she got it. We both got it. We were both screaming. We were both on our knees crying. Like it was so good. So we went and got in line for that. I'll answer the video. Okay. Okay. <gasps> okay, sit over there. Okay. <gasps> 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 
지을까요? 자, 저리 보고. 
and it has their names. <laughs> On the back, here's the design. I think it's so cute. Like, I love it. Last but not least, y'all. I got the poster set. I have no room for these posters. I have six BTS posters around my dorm room right now. My dorm room is tiny. So like, your girl has no room for anything else. So when I got them, I agreed to give my best friend Marcy the RM one. RM is for bias. So I was like, you know what? If you can't get it, I'll give you RM because I love her. And she would do the same for me. So, she's getting RM. And yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> So I'll show you what they look like. They're so good. I love the theme this year, like the pastel, the floral. Marcy, this is for you, girl. There you are. There you go. Oh my gosh. Wow. Blessed. That's what we all are. Blessed. Oh my gosh. My man's junk hook. Oh. Look at him. Look. Y'all, he looks so handsome. I, I know Crystal. This is yours. We love you, Crystal. It's, it's so good that I cried. The most beautiful man I have ever seen in my entire life. Ever. Ever. No one will ever look as good as he does. Ever. <laughs> he looks so good. Once again, y'all, this isn't Yoongi. This isn't. Look at him. Look at him. Sorry, that was aggressive. This man looks like he fell from heaven. Look at him. What? What? If these rip... I'm going to have to throw myself out this window. But basically, that was all the merch I got. I actually want Big Hit to put it online for the U.S. so we can get it. <laughs> yeah, that would be great because, you know, I don't need more, but I want more. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I know I'm chaotic and I ramble a lot. But it's my first YouTube video, so. Oh wait, I should end it with Jimmy. Oh my God, he's so cute, okay. All right guys, so if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up because yeah, it would make me happy. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe, and thank you for watching.